What is going on guys? This is Mike with Chit Chat Gaming and today we got ourselves a nice little nice little gift on our front porch here. We actually got the pre-assembled centipede cabinet from Arcade One up here to review. Um, I've been talking to these guys for quite some time here. I actually been talking to them prior to the original release date here. And they did check out my Street Fighter um, review here as well too. I've been talking to them for a while and they have decided to send me over the centipede review unit here. So I definitely want to give a shout out to those guys for sending this over to me. We'll go ahead and we'll unbox this thing. I, yes, I'm doing a voiceover uh, simply because I wanted to go ahead and unbox this um, and show you guys what this thing looks like pre-assembled, um, shipped out here. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this. We'll tear it apart. We will review the game itself and we'll get the final thoughts here and see exactly how the Centipede RK 1UP cabinet works here. Alright guys, before we get back into that, here, I just want to give you a quick update that I did get the panel that I was needing, the missing panel, as well as the plexiglass control panel cover here as well too, because I did have some scuffs and scratches on my actual original one here, so I wanted to go in and protect that, so they did send me over this plexiglass panel cover, it does fit on pretty well here, um, a little thicker than I thought it was going to be, pretty easy to install, uh, they also give me an extra overlay as well too here, so like I said, I just want to do a quick update so I can show you guys, you know, that if you do contact our support team, they will send stuff over to you as well, too. Things that should have probably been introduced and packaged originally, but they do indeed try to take care of you the best they can here. So let's go ahead and let's get back to the Centipede Arcade 1UP cabinet review here. Okay, so as I mentioned, the unit did come pre-assembled here, so we'll go ahead and we'll take this apart here. So the games that you're going to get with this is Centipede, um, you're going to get Missile Command, you're going to get Crystal Castles, and you're going to get Millipede as well too. So you do get all four of these games here with the unit itself here. It came in packed pretty well, but I was actually a little surprised. I figured there would be a little more packing in it, but it holds up. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll finish unboxing this thing here, then we'll get into the actual review, turn it on, boot it up. So it did have a little bit of a shrink wrap around the top here. Of course, I had the protective film on it as well too on the actual 17-inch LCD screen, much like the other ones. So... A little bit of dust on this thing, that's actually behind the screen, and I'll go ahead and do a video, a little close-up on that for you guys too here, to take a look at. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not here, I'll try to do a little close-up on it, but you can actually see um, a little bit of dust, like I said, I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick it up, but other than that, the you know the, the actual cabinet looked pretty good. There was quite a bit of dust on the actual cabinet itself, but I probably was sitting in a warehouse or something as well too, pre-assembled for a while. I'm not complaining, because it's a nice review cabinet but definitely dust on it but it does look pretty dang good here I like the artwork a lot on it as well too I think it does look pretty cool definitely um, replicates the original cabinet as well too so we'll go ahead and we'll jump on the or go ahead and boot this thing up jump into it and take a look and see how the games play so here it is next to my Street Fighter 2 cabinet here and as you can see the riser does indeed help out quite a bit here this thing is pretty short without it so if you're asking if the riser does help my answer is going to be yes especially when you're five foot eight and you want to stand to play this and not sit now i did want to point out some little scuffs and such here i did see on the actual same panel that was missing um it actually does not sit flush as you can see right here it kind of like sits back there so i did notice that here as well too and this panel actually did some damage on my um my street fighter cabinet as well here too it left a couple little white marks, little scratches on there as well too. So I kind of just want to go ahead and point those out to you guys. This is the review unit, so it might not be like that on all of them. All right, so we are back here. We do have the control panel here, or you know, whatever you want to call it, the, your actual panel here with your buttons and whatnot. Um, so I've had hurt issues here with the trackball. I'm guessing this must be the stock one, most likely here. And my other guess here has been sitting in a warehouse for a while because there is lots and lots of dust that has accumulated over this thing as well too i'm going to take the panel apart here and probably clean underneath of it and try to fix that front panel as well too so you know you do it's a little wobbly here too i need to fix that it might be my floor but so you have your standard on and off button here you got your volume rocker you know your off your mute medium volume loud of course it is your mono speaker over here in the corner then you have your one player, two player buttons here. Of course, as you, the other ones here too, you hold in the one player button for five seconds. It starts, the, restarts the whole entire system, takes you back to the main menu. You hold the second button down, it restarts the current game that you're in. So, got that down here. And this is gonna be your fire button for most games here as well too. 
And then these two buttons are going to be used for, I believe, mainly for missile command um, as well, too, for your different commands. But yeah, so that's pretty much the board here. It's pretty simple. Like I said, this trackball, I'm not too sure if it's a newer one, but my guess is probably just the stock one. So we'll go ahead here and we'll actually boot this thing up and we'll take a look at a couple games. All right, I went ahead and I moved this thing. I adjusted it down a little bit because you couldn't really see what was going on down here. But yeah, I just found out too that if you actually hold the second player button down, it does not restart the game. So really the only thing you can do is hold down the one player button here and it actually takes you back to the main menu here. So we'll go ahead and let's, let's jump back into Centipede in a little bit here. I was actually getting my butt kicked because I was too busy, too busy trying to pay attention to the camera. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a little better. again I've not played this game in like ages I mean ages I'm probably talking like Atari 2600 days there we go So you guys got the idea. Let's go ahead and let's jump back to the main menu. So we'll hold down player one. Take us back here to the main menu. I am using my phone here to actually record. Crystal Castle, let's try this one. Okay, so this one jump and of course move. All right. There we go. Get the gems, Bentley Bear. Uh, oh crap. I haven't played this game forever either. The track button, the track ball is a little bit ooh, touchy. It's not horrible, but it's definitely touchy. There we go. You got the last gem. Alright, move on here. We'll do one more level. I think the Pac-Man one would actually be a lot of fun to play. I like Atari, but I wasn't huge into Atari. Ah. Didn't see that. Alright, let's go up this way here. Yeah, so the trackball is a little bit touchy. But it's not, it's not a game breaker though. It's not a deal breaker. Don't know if I'd be spending 300 bucks on it, but. No bonus. All right. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the next game here. Again, these aren't kind of games I'm really 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 into so for me 300 bucks would probably be a a deal breaker for me for something like this but it's not a bad little unit i i do think that you gotta have the pedestal or the little riser for all these as well too i have one for my street fighter unit here but you do definitely need one so here we got different you're gonna use the two buttons for bases and you're gonna use the main button here too so i have not played this game in ages all right so Oops. Ah, oh, now they're gonna get it. All right. So we got that. Let's turn this thing up all the way. Oh crap, what am I doing? Oh, 
Alright, so here we go. We're going to jump into the last game here, which is Millipede. Turn that back down. So this one uses the fire and the move as well, too. So much like Centipede as well, too. So this one's got the DDT in it. Oh, I, <laughs> I got killed already. So yeah, I mean it's it's fun, but like I mentioned, wasn't I wasn't huge into Atari, but it'd definitely be a fun thing if you had like a get together, like a family get together, or like you know like Thanksgiving, Christmas, or something like that, and you wanted to keep people entertained. So I do have this one, the Street Fighter one. So definitely, definitely appreciate them sending this over to me. It's not a bad cabinet. It's just like I said, it's not something I would probably spend 300 bucks on, but. Black Friday is coming up, and this will actually be on sale for, uh, I think, $249. I believe I saw it at Walmart, as well as they're going to have the Galaga and the Pac-Man units out as well, too. So, save yourself 50 bucks on it. And then Kohl's is actually running a sale on the 12-in-1 machine um, for $349. Plus, you get a bunch of Kohl's cash as well, too. So, that would definitely be worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go back here and let's take a look and let's get my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we're back here and just to kind of sum things up, if you want my honest opinion on it, I don't really think I'd be spending 300 bucks on this. Um, it's fun, it works well, it does its job, but for me, the games just aren't really that, I mean, they're good classic games, but for me personally, they're ones that I probably wouldn't be able to spend $300 on with my Street Fighter one. You know, it's definitely a game that I prefer. I love fighting style games as well too. If you like Atari, Atari style games, you like these style games as well too, these retro style games, then you'd probably really enjoy this for, for $300. But like I said though, keep in, keep in mind that you're gonna be getting some sales coming up here as well too for Black Friday. So definitely keep that in mind out there. But for me personally though, it's just not my thing. But otherwise, you know, the unit is in pretty decent shape. A little bit of dust here and there some dust behind the screen as well so again my my guess is this is probably sitting in the warehouse but definitely want to give a shout out to arcade one up for providing me with a review copy of the system here of the actual cabinet as i can as they probably know they did see my video on the street fighter one so definitely plan on getting a riser um, for this as well too to kind of sit right next to this like i said it's something that's great for you know for, for events you know or like from a company over christmas thanksgiving birthdays whatever you know it's something for people to do and play here so and definitely appreciate them the support has been excellent there they got over the plexiglass um, for my control panel as well too they got the um everything else as far as the panel on the front goes it actually fits now and it works so definitely appreciate that so they definitely did a great job of taking care of, of things here by getting a hold of their customer service number but again though just not my thing here but it is a nice cabinet i'm gonna take a look at the trackball a little bit more here take this thing apart clean it up a little bit as well too and like i mentioned get that riser for it so if you're definitely in line to get one or in the market to get one of these as well too make sure you guys visit rk1up.com they do have a list of different you know vendors and such uh, vendors and such where you can actually get these at walmart you know best buys i believe target and like i mentioned kohl's as well too and i think bed bath and beyond there's several other places that start to carry these as well too so make sure you guys look into it here tell me what you think in the comments let me know if it's something you guys like if you have this one here if you have any issues or anything with it as well too let me know so i can contact um arcade one up here and definitely see if i can get answers for you so once again guys this has been mike with chit chat gaming saying happy gaming